Welcome to Juris Destiny Academy, the podcast for law school entrepreneurs. Learn the essentials of entrepreneurship. Get ready because court class is in session. Court class is in session. Today we're talking about the law of goals. We all live in America, America, America. We all live in America. Yes. <laughs> order, 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 order. <laughs> Today, we we are going to have fun. We are on the seventh of ten laws. Okay. We are in the law of goals. Okay? So, we're going to stay in this law for quite a while about goal setting. Because, well, quite frankly, I think as entrepreneurs, we fail to meet those goals. We, we fail to write down the goals. Or we write them down, we forget about them. And then when, 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 when time gets derailed, they're like, ah... I can't believe this. Man, my plan's derailed. My life's derailed. But listen to me. It doesn't have to be that. God has a plan for each and every one of your lives. Yes, I know. This is a this is a court classroom, but this court classroom of Juris Destiny Academy depends upon the laws of the Bible. And God loves us and he wants us to set goals. He wants us to set goals. Alright? Now, listen to me. You know I wrote a book called The Winning Personality. A values-based approach to entrepreneurship in this economy. And here's something I started to do yesterday and again today. Is to write down some goals for the rest of 2021 and 2022. Regardless of this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, which in this classroom, point of order, we are talking, we're calling it the devil virus. Okay? Everywhere across, I have a, we're starting a podcast network, and uh, one of our friend, one of our sister uh, podcasts, uh, brother podcast, shall we say, one of our brother podcasts started calling COVID-19 the devil virus, and we here at James Hendrick Empowerment, that's what we're going to start calling it. That's what, we're, that's what we've been calling it, and that's what we're going to keep calling it. You can set goals regardless of the devil virus, because God intended you to set goals. Because where does the devil virus come from? Oh, we hear all the stories about how come from bats in China. Bats, huh? Let me ask you something. Do y'all believe in heaven and hell? I hope you do. If if you if you don't, maybe you need to refresh your course. Um, I have a couple of podcasts to recommend. One of them is uh, praying for a hurting world, and that's a good one. It's it's a, it's a brother uh, podcast on on uh, my network, and the other one. Um, of course, that one's the fir- first and foremost that will talk about heaven and hell. And then we have uh, the Restored Church of Christ first things that's the podcast I have. But, but I digress. This isn't meant to be totally a um, religious program. But then again, maybe it is. Let's see what the Bible has to say about goal setting. Okay, there's a couple of scriptures on this. The first one is Proverbs 19.21. I'm going to paraphrase from the King James, okay? All scriptures that I use um, in my podcast are, are from the King James Bible. It, you know, um, many are the devices of man, but the counsels of the Lord shall stand. If you want to set goals, you need to have counsel with the Lord, okay? That's just that's just where your bread and butter is, okay? That's where your bread and butter is. It's plain truth. Now, 
Proverbs 29, 18 says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. But whoso keepeth the law, happy is he. Where there is no vision. You know, I looked in the footnotes in my Bible yesterday. I was listening to a pastor named uh, Gary Cassie. And he was talking about, you know, vision. I and mean, he said, provision, provision provides vision. But I looked under vision in my uh, uh, concordance, in my, uh, my uh, Bible, uh, online, uh, on, on the, my church's app. And under vision was revelation. So without revelation, the people perish. And what does that mean? The people fall away. So without goals, without revelation as to what goals you should have, you fall away. I mean, I was sitting there yesterday afternoon, I was reading that, and it's like, it was like the Holy Spirit told me, Jimmy, I told you to start an online education forum for people. Why are you running away from your destiny? So, that's one of the things I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on. I have an online uh, platform with Thinkific. I've just got to get back into it. Learn how to set the courses, and by January, get the ball rolling. Set your goals. Write them down. And, and while you're at it, write some short-range goals uh, um, that go towards your goals. And something Dr. Delatoro McNeil the second says, he says, he says, you need to set wow rewards for those goals. Okay? You need to set wow rewards for those goals. Because here's the thing. The Lord wants you to set goals. The Lord wants you to set goals. And He wants you to know. That yes, your your goals may be derailed. Your days may be, be derailed, okay? A, a, meeting, a meeting with a top paying customer. All of a sudden cancels flat. Uh, one of your advisors. Uh, an important meeting calls in sick. You just get derailed, and then you think you, you know. And I know how this reactive culture is, you know, especially through the enemy of our souls. Okay, you want, I know you weren't expecting to have a religious forum, but please bear with me. We know who he is, Satan, Lucifer. In in Hebrew, it's Hasatan. He's created this reactive culture, so that we don't achieve our goals. You know, telling us that we're no good. That our goals are not worth it. That we are not worth it. Guys, point of order, listen. You need to set those goals. You know, I was going to go down on another tangent. And something said, no, Jimmy, keep it simple. And, and so that's how it is with your goals. Keep it simple. Don't, don't go off into tangents about your, about your goals. Because then you don't achieve it. Okay? Habakkuk. Habakkuk 2. Habakkuk 2, verse 2 says this. Write the vision and make it plain. So that he that readeth may run with it. Okay? Write down your goals. I've been to a variety of, of network marketing seminar, seminars, and they'll tell you write down your goals. And what can be stopping us from our goals? Fear. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a break. Next class break, we will be talking about fear and how we can overcome fear by by. Uh, by achieving our goals. It's something I learned in landmark form. Class dismissed. We hope that you've enjoyed listening to Juris Destiny Academy. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the Juris Destiny Academy community. This is the Juris Destiny Academy saying until next time, live your God-given destiny. Take care and God bless you, y'all. Okay? See you next week.